Hey filmmakers, Sean here. In this video, I'm going to talk about nested sequences. Personally, I use them quite a lot now, and it has uh, a great purpose, uh, especially if you are using uh, a lot of effects on top of your logo, but you don't want to affect things that is under it. So, uh, especially if the effect needs to be multi-layered. So here we have like an effect that is multi-layered. Uh, it has to be multi-layered because it is using an RGB split. So the first on top is an adjustment layer that has a noise that affects like all the layers under it. And each of these are like individual RGB layers. And enable it to have an RGB split and then that effect on top. We actually copy this over to the other layer and if we look at this the adjustment layer on top is actually affecting the layers under it. So it's better to have it nested so it actually won't uh, affect everything under it but um, you might say why not put the effect that is in here on each of these but uh, by doing that you are doing multiple steps and if you want to change the settings of that one effect um, it's directly you have to do it on all three of these item or clips instead of just adjusting it on top so I'm actually going to show you directly how the nest effect so I just right mouse click on it and nest and you can see once we move it along it will be nested and the effect won't affect the layer under it so what a nest does is it just uh, copies over the effects into a new sequence and make a sequence clip on your timeline. So to open and actually alter the effect you just double click on here or search for the nested sequence in your project uh, bin or tab. Another um, yeah, thing you probably already see is instead of having so many effects stacked onto your timeline you can have like uh, a much cleaner timeline and even that you could uh, yeah actually just even do this and just select these two and have a nested sequence and yeah especially certain effects like this one has so many layers also it just makes it much cleaner of a timeline and you can have instead of having like a seven layered timeline you could have like just a three or four layers instead of so many especially if you have to move stuff on the timeline around now it's just like this clip I only have to move or like this title um, effect this is just one clip instead of what's inside of here I would have to drag all of that and then move this around and now it's just pretty much just yeah only one clip that I have to move around and it makes just makes it much easier so that was mainly it uh, about using nested sequences hopefully you guys find this quite interesting uh, if you want to see more upcoming videos please subscribe if you have any questions about uh, editing with Premiere Pro please comment below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.